The next couple of subjects that we're going to take a look at are fairly advanced, and they are delegates and events. We're going to start off by taking a look at C-sharp delegates. C-sharp delegates are sort of like callbacks that you may have seen in other languages. If you're familiar with programming languages such as JavaScript or Java or C or C++, then you're probably familiar with the notion of a callback function. A callback function is assigned at runtime, and you can change callback functions while the program is running. And a callback function is simply a way for you to provide a piece of functionality that can be switched in and out as it is needed. And delegates provide that functionality in C Sharp. Essentially, a C Sharp delegate decouples the caller of a function from the call function, which is essentially the same thing that callbacks do. So to declare a delegate, you use the delegate keyword, and you're essentially defining a type of function that is going to be called. So I use the delegate function, then I provide the type that the delegate is going to return. So in this case, I'm declaring a delegate that returns an integer. Then I need to provide a name for the delegate, and I can make it up as much as I want to. I can use whatever a legal function name would be. In this case, I'm just using the generic term delegate name, but you can use whatever name you want. And then you have to provide any parameters that the delegate is going to handle. In this case, I'm declaring a delegate that returns an integer and takes two parameters. There's an integer and a string. Then when I want to use the delegate, I use it like any other kind of type name. So in this case, I'm declaring a variable named func, which is of type delegate name, and I'm assigning it to be some function. So as long as I declare some function to be the same format as the delegate that I've declared above, I can switch that function in and out as much as I like. Then I just call the function like I would any other function. In this case, I've got an integer result, which is being assigned to the result that comes back from the func variable which is now pointing at the sum function function, and it takes the integer argument three and the string argument hello. Then all that's left to do is actually write the sum function callback. And you can see here that I've got a function named sum function, which returns an integer and takes two parameters, an integer and a string, and it has the same format as the delegate that I declared at the top of the slide there. So let's jump over to the C sharp code and actually implement this and see how it works. Okay, so I'm here in my delegate example, and I've got the using delegates project open, and I've also got the example snippets file open, and I've scrolled down to the section on using delegates. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy my delegate declaration. That's this line right here. So I'll copy that, and I'll paste it into the main program here. Now I'm going to paste this inside the namespace, but outside of my program class. So I'll just put it up here. And this basically says to the c -sharp compiler, hey compiler, there's going to be this thing called a function that has the format of returning an integer and taking an integer argument. So be on the lookout for it. So I'm going to save that, go back to the snippets. Now I'm going to scroll down here and copy these two functions, the functions square and cube. So let's copy these guys and put them in the code outside of the main function. Now notice how each one of these functions returns an integer and takes an integer argument, just like the delegate is declared up here. So this delegate returns an integer and takes an integer argument. All right, now we can write the code that actually uses the delegate. And here's what we're going to do to do that. We're going to go back over to the snippets, and we're going to copy this piece of code right here. Let's put this in our main function. Let me explain what's going on here. Now that I've defined my delegate as a number function, that's this guy right here, I can now declare that as a variable. So on line 15, I'm creating a variable named f, which is of type number function. And remember, that's a delegate. So I can assign to f the name of a function that matches the same description as the delegate. In this case, it's the square function. So down here is the square function. It takes an integer argument, and it just simply returns the square of that number. It takes that number and multiplies it by itself. So on the next line, on line 16, I'm doing a console.write line that says, the result of the delegate is, and then the result number is going to go in here, and then I simply call the function f with the number 5. So f is now pointing at the square function, because I assigned it to that up here on line 15. So I'm going to call the function f with number 5, and that's going to square the number. It's going to write out 
the number 25. So let's go ahead and run that. But before we run that, let's comment out these two lines so we can isolate the results for the moment. All right, so we'll save, and we'll run. And you can see that the string that's being written out is the result of the delegate is 25, just as we expected. Okay, so far, so good. Now what we're going to do is uncomment these lines and notice I'm changing the delegate on the fly. So now, instead of the f variable pointing at the square function, it's going to point at the cube function. So while the program is running, I'm changing what the function that's going to be called is by changing the value of the f variable from square to cube. So now, this f variable right here on line 19 is going to be pointing at this function down here, cube. And cube takes the number and multiplies it by itself three times, which is how you arrive at the cube of a number. So on line 20, I'm going to write out the result of the delegate is and then the result. I'm going to call the function the same way. I'm going to call the function f with the value of 5, but in this case the result is going to be very different. So we should see two things written out. We should see this line written out here when f is pointing at the square function, and then we should see a different value written out here when f is pointing at the cube function. So let's build. We can see the build succeeded. Okay, let's run it. And you can see that the result of the delegate is 25, and then the result of the delegate is 125, which is what we would expect because we changed the delegate to point from the square function to the cube function. Delegates are a really powerful and flexible programming construct in C Sharp. They do the same thing as callback functions, but they do it in a more modular way. If your code calls for such flexibility, such that you need to be able to provide callback functions, the way that you accomplish that in C Sharp is by using delegates.